one. Hello, spacers. How are we doing this evening? It is 8.30. The Angel Citadel Gaming Lounge is open for business. We're playing Star Forge tonight. It's a cooperative. Actually, it's a multi, uh, multi style, I guess. I guess. Um, I don't know. Role playing game by Sean Tompkin, the um, author of the critically acclaimed Iron Forge and um, or Iron Sworn, excuse me. And um, we have the past few weeks been working on um, building the fiction um, and so you can go and check our YouTube channel and see those episodes and see what we've done and kind of see what we put together and where we're thinking and so tonight we are going to um, do something of a prologue and uh, get, get into playing yep. so Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're the one with the bugs. Oh, good grief. You, it's a PDF. You have it, too. And it's in, mm -hmm. it's, it's even in uh, Foundry. I put it in there because I'm helpful. You get the bugs. <laughs> Look, I'm awake and I'm here. If you're wanting much more than that, you're just SOL. <laughs> So, yeah, with Invisible Sun uh, being temporarily canceled until after September, I was sleeping. And working on coding. school and coding stuff. Yes. Yes. I mean, technically, the, what I was coding is still kind of working on school because it's giving me practice. But it's practice and, you know... What is it that they say in software engineering? A portfolio is more impor important than a degree. Yes. So, it's it's to help your portfolio. If I can get it to work, please note that that's that's a key word. If I can get it to work, of course, I, I'm off to a good start getting the all the information uh, and put it in. Base information. So, good deal. All right. So, our starting situation is... Space. You know, you're funny. I'm hilarious. You're hilarious. Huh? I think... So, my character at the start of this is in a, a, a thing. A, a vault. You're in a vault? A uh, predecessor vault? Uh, pre predecessor or precursor? Which one is I it? I don't know. We've got a freaking thing written down. Why, why are we guessing? Because right. actually looking it's... requires work. <laughs> hey. Right. Don't mind me. It's, it's been a day. So if we look at the community, um, let's see, Cataclysm. Precursors. Uh, precursors, okay. So you are in a precursor vault, and you were with a group. Um, a group that abandoned And there was some sort of disaster. Or and I was left behind. Something, and they thought uh, you died. And yes, uh, I was traveling. Yes, and because I'm actually a prophet. Yes, um, and get like premonitions and crap. Um, seer, I'm a seer. Um, we decided that um, I would be guided to your location or whatever um, to help as like a mystic SOS or something. A mystic SOS. I like that. 
Dial of Fate. <laughs> One eight hundred Dial of Fate for all your fairy tale needs. All, all your screwed up life needs. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking my character. We're, I think I want to start this this scene. Scene. Yep. Setting. Scene. 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 With, I, I think we should start our our game with us meeting because in my mind it's going to start establishing our communication. I agree. So, tell me a little bit about this precursor vault. What is it? When, so when when my little junker, the Destiny's Call, right, <laughs> flies in and it's coming into the atmosphere, right, and we get through the the flamey part, and what if there is no flamey part? Okay, or there's not a flame. Well. It, it's a jungle planet. It's got to have some kind of atmosphere. But that doesn't that necessarily mean that you're entering at, at most fast enough to set everything on fire. Okay, so I'm going real slow. I'm flying in, and there it's a jungle planet, so there's trees or, or something, right? Honestly, I kind of pictured this planet as kind of like Florida. Like Elaborate. it's got it's got the trees, obviously, mm -hmm. but instead of it being trees with massive roots, it's the trees with the 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 roots that look like they're fixing to get up and walk off. Okay. In the swamp. Because it's it's jungle. To me, jungle is kind of swampy because sunlight doesn't penetrate down, there's not a lot of grass. So you've got some stagnant water and things and, like that. Yes. Yeah, some stagnant water, um, South Texas, almost, or Louisiana, okay. uh, down by New Orleans with the, with the bayous and bayous. Okay. Bay, bayou or bayou? Bayou. Bayou. So I'm going to fly in, right, and we're going to come in, and there's uh, some sort of clearing or... or yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking or something. there's like this one section that that as you're flying around, there's this one section where there's just this massive metal piece of basically just a big metal pillar that's jutting out that's wide enough for you to land on. It's just sticking out. Okay. Not not quite parallel to the ground, but kind of tilted. And there's nothing growing around it because it's like almost like a life dead zone. Okay. So I swoop in and I land this thing. All right. Or maybe the droid or the autopilot lands it or something. Probably the autopilot. <laughs> we're, we're not going to be, um, this, this is not going to be a hot game where I can, you know, see the future and turn into a dragon, and fly a ship, any ship, and shoot any weapon. And that, that's not going to be like that. So, the autopilot as as plays the ship. As long as we don't have a rust bucket running around going, beep, 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 beep. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. So I land the ship. And the sensors tell me that I've got atmosphere. Yep. Breathable. So I I, I figure it's kind of heavy on the oxygen, though. So, like, I don't know. Well, no, you've been in South Texas and Louisiana and Florida. You know how when you take a breath and there's just this huge weight on your chest? That's the atmosphere I'm picturing. It's not thin up in the mountains. It's <gasps> heavy. Mm -hmm. So I dropped the gangplank. And I step out onto this metal slab. Yes. Um, didn't we decide that I was missing a leg or something? No, I don't think so. Was that not? No. That was the other character. Oh, never mind. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so he's walking off the ship, and he's got the two... I think I want... Uh, uh, sorry to interject, but I think that when you step off the ship on this piece of metal, that instead of it just being the standard kafunk, it's a musical note. Get out of my head. But I love it in here. It's so nice. So he's walking down this gangplank, and he's got his two meditation balls. And he's doing the thing, you know, where he's twirling around. He's got and big it's got balls. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know how they make that noise, the metal on metal, like yeah. you're, you're doing a glass or playing the glasses? Yeah. It sounds like that. And he goes to step off onto this, this metal plate. And all of a sudden, there's a note that's a, it's a third off from the note that the meditation balls are playing. And it makes a chord and just freezes. And he takes another step. And it's a different note. And he starts twirling the balls again. And he starts walking. And this, this metal thing plays almost like a song that's always harmonic with the meditation balls that he's got. Okay. Because they don't actually change. That, that sound doesn't change. No. But this thing is, is always in the same key, and it plays kind of a melody. It's yeah. almost nonsensical, but it doesn't sound bad. So it's techno. Hey, techno's not that bad. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I look around. Uh -huh. um, I'm assuming that in my vision, I have probably seen at least the outside of where you are. And... Where I've landed, I can see where that is. Okay. It's not necessarily right there, but I could see it. Um, you said this is jutting out of like a mountain? Yeah. Okay, so maybe, maybe there's like a cave or something nearby that's connected to whatever this metal thing is as part of the precursor? Okay. I, I could buy that. Um, as I survey the area, I'm looking for a way down. And I'm going to say there's probably not one. No, I think there is one. You think there's like a, I, a trail? I, th I think. Uh, not No, not a trail. But I'm thinking that when my ship, the one that abandoned me, came, mm -hmm. we had a rope off the side of the, the platform. Okay. Like a rope yeah, ladder. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, if there wasn't a pl uh, way down, I would go back in the ship and grab a rope and find a rock or whatever and tie it around. But that works. The, yeah. the leftovers of your... Yeah, because if, if I was already there and my people came and then they left me, they wouldn't have taken their rope ladder up. So I'm thinking that there's like a rough rope ladder. I mean, it's not Zoomy G fancy. It's just a basic, so uh, like the ladder they, they off of They banged in some pitons or something yeah. into the side of the rock and hung this rope ladder. Yeah, kind of like off this side of a helicopter. Sure. Like at the end of Undercover Blues, that rope ladder that she's getting, that's what's there. Okay. So I, I put the meditation balls away because I'm not going to try and climb with them. And I climb down. Um, on the ground, we'll say that 
there there is you said it was kind of like a swamp mm-hmm. um so the ground is soft yes um there's there's small puddles everywhere um kind of off in the distance i can see uh a larger one almost like a, a i don't know about a lake but a pond maybe sure. um trees sticking out of it and who knows there's some alien crocodile or something that's moving off in the distance or something um and so i start make, making my way away along the uh the face of the rock and looking for this cave that i saw okay um Maybe I'm looking for a half an hour or so, but I eventually find it. And it's got more of that metal. Um, There's a rock kind of facade. And then as you go in about five feet, there's metal like walls, like this is formed. Okay. Um, And then as I go in, it makes those sounds again. Um, about 200 feet inside this thing, there's, it looks like a cave-in. It looks like something had shattered the metal and the rocks around it uh, fell in with it and have covered most of the throughput of that tunnel. Okay. Okay. So I start looking around, and and it looks like there's, I mean, I probably spend 10, 15 minutes or something like that, but it looks like there's signs of somebody having been here. Um, Scraps of thread or, or chips of metal or something like that. I don't know. What else would you need for an excavation or something? Then, Scrap salvaging. Uh, debt cord. Piece of, piece of debt cord or something like that. Who knows? Maybe they screwed up and blew it themselves. Um, so, yeah. I finally, I... I Decide, okay, I don't know who I'm looking for, but hello? And it echoes. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if you hear it or... I don't know, do I? Okay, this is where you contribute to the fiction. <laughs> but you were doing such a good job telling the story. <laughs> I, I think my character does hear it. I think that she's... I think that as you're looking around, you're going to see that... Sure, they, they blew, they're, they're the ones that blew the hole, but she's managed to dig out and carve a tiny little hole. Or they manage to call, carve out a tiny little hole. And when they hear her, they come creeping out. And you hear them coming. Because they're talking to themselves. Okay. What are they saying? What's well, this? I hear a voice. Do you hear a voice? I hear a voice. What do we have here? Did you hear the voice? Should we answer? But we heard it multiple times. Well, that's the echoes. We hear the echoes all the time when we talk. Hello? You in there? Well, I'm certainly not out there. He opens his mouth to say something and then shuts it, realizing that was a really stupid thing to say. (laughs) 
my character kind of wiggles and squiggles and they finally manage to kind of work their way out of the hole and they're crouched down and they're peering up at you and you're a person. Last Are I you real? And they're going to come forward and reach out to touch you. I'll let them touch me. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, they touch you. <gasps> You're a real person. You're not a figment of my imagination. See, look, we found a real person. We should keep them. What are we going to do with them? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But look at them. Real person. So is this <laughs> like Andy Circus style? Gollum, I'm talking to myself? Sort of, yeah. Different voices? or No, still the same, same voice, voice, but just... They, my character has been alone for so long. They've taken to talking to themselves just to hear the hear something other than animals and crickets and. Okay. I remember, you've got a survey bot too. Yes. Is it there? I'm thinking the survey bot's going to be small. Okay. Because if I recall correctly, they they built it themselves. So I'm thinking it's a tiny little survey bot, and they they kind of reach down and pull it out, and they look, look the survey bot. Look, I got a pot. Do you have bots? Bots are nice. They're my friends. They're my only friends. Are you my new friend? Are you a bot, or are you a person? I'm a person. I'm, I'm, I don't have a bot. I have a ship. <gasps> a ship. He's got a ship. Ship. Well, since he's our new friend, maybe he'll take us with him. That's a great idea. We should ask him, are you going to take us with you? So that was the plan. Excellent. It's a great plan. I like this plan. I am proud to be a part of this plan. We're, we're proud to be part of this plan, aren't we? Aren't we? Yes, yes. They're very proud. They're very happy. We're, we're very happy. Are you? All right. I've been alone. How long have I been alone? A long time. We've been alone long. Um, yeah, long time. Um, 3,465 cycles. Do I got to worry about you and my ship? Only if you've got broken things, because then I'll have to fix them. I don't like things broken. Broken is bad. Broken is messy. Broken is death. Death is bad. I don't like death. It's very smelly and icky and gross. I'm not a fan of death either. Okay. So I can I can take you back out to my ship if you'd like. Okay, I've got to get my stuff. Hold on. Stay here. Stay stay here. Don't go wandering. Is it that is it still there? It's still there. Okay, stay here. Don't go out in the dark. I'll be right back. And she's gonna go and Yell back through the hole, and they're gone about 15, 20 minutes. And when they come back, he hears some grunting and groaning, and they wiggle out backwards, and then they're pulling a massive bag behind them. What's in the bag? Treasures! And they pull, manage to pull it out, and they throw it open. It's all, got all kinds of knickknacks, odds and ends, bits and baubles, pieces of ancient technology that they've scavenged, just because my character's a hoarder. Look okay. at them all. He, he looks at them, and you know, none of it's like stuff that he's ever seen before. Um, We'll say that one of them catches his eye, and he reaches out towards it. Okay. And uh, it kind of floats up and towards him. And as he's holding his hand out, it kind of spins around and turns over so he can look at each. Where on? Earth, did you get all this stuff? That's a thing, Madopper. I see. I found it in there. We were digging. 
we were digging a lot. And then Judy pushed the button. I told him not to push the button, but he pushed the button. And then there was an explosion. It was a loud explosion. And then they screamed and left. I was on the other side. I didn't get to scream and leave. I was sad. And then I dug out. I found another hole. It wasn't very big, though. Fresh water came in, though, so I was okay for a while. And then I managed to make it out. And he kind of makes the thing, whatever, float back over and set back among the pile of, of stuff. All right. So we can go back to my ship as long as all you're going to do is fix things. We don't destroy things on my ships. Okay. Okay. I don't push buttons. I don't like pushing buttons. When he pushed we, the we button, push. it was bad. I'll, I'll take care of all the button pushing. Okay. Okay. So I guess he'll help gather the bag or whatever up. Yeah, it's not a bag. It's like a big... Cloth. It looks like a animal skin that had been like stripped of the, the meat. Mm -hmm. And it was just wrapped up and then tied with a big cord. Okay. So he'll help gather that back up, I guess. And um, lead him out to the the rope ladder yep. where his ship is. And puts the bag on one shoulder and wraps it around and around. And then up the ladder she goes. They go. A ship! He hears her, the sound of her running feet, and when he, by the time he makes that, she's hugging the nose. They're hugging the nose of the ship. He kind of rubs his temple, <laughs> <laughs> and then goes to climb in the back of the ship. Um, they follow. So. You were going to, what, salvage from here? Yes. And then what? Well, then we go to the planet place thingy. Planet place thingy. Yes. The planet place thingy. Um, crap. I don't remember what we said. We, where did we, who did we know? It's in contacts. I believe it's in hearth. Yeah. Yeah, we had a contact in, in, in Hearth, and we would bring our stuff, and they would give us give us credits and, and food and fuel for our ship. So we would trade, and then we would get food and fuel for our ship. Daniel Norrit yes. was his name. Daniel. Daniel was nice. Daniel was al always nice to me. Wait. Daniel Norrit? I think that was his name. Tall guy, red beard. Uh, Does he think you're cute? Does he think you're cute? No. I'm I'm not the right person. Yeah, I'm not the right person either, but that doesn't <laughs> seem to stop him. That's okay. He liked Judy too. All right. So maybe Maybe your friends are at Hearth? Probably not. They don't they don't like staying around anywhere for very length for very long. The captain was an asshole. Okay. I guess And he didn't like me. I guess let's go and see if we can sell your stuff. If you want to. I probably need to fill up with fuel anyway. Okay. Um, so, yeah. We head to Hearth. Excellent. <coughs> My character is going to be crawling all over your ship, and you will randomly have them pop out various events and access hatches 
probably occasionally scaring the ever living shit out of you. Not because they're doing it on purpose, but because how the hell did you fit in there? <coughs> okay. <coughs> so at at some point Yes. We will probably have a conversation on the ship. Because yes. I'm assuming it's gonna take a while to get there. Um and the topic is probably going to be what do you want to do from here? Loot. So are you looking for more of these? Yeah, I, I, I figure, yeah, when when you, the two of you have the conversation, they're going to talk about how they want to find more caves. Because the survey bot that they found, they're going to pull it out and they're going to show you. And this mm -hmm. is ancient technology. Like, and they're going to push the button and it's going to wander around the room and it's come back and it's going to announce how big the room is. And that there are two life forms. And then it'll pop up like a little image of the room as like a topographical map. Okay. I want to find more. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Okay. <coughs> so. <coughs> this is probably a. Um, a good iron vow. Let's yes. find another okay. precursor. Another precursor. Site. Sure. Ruin something. Because that, really, that does fit in with Judah's desire to find... Yeah. So <clears throat> what we'll do is you're going to you're going to use the quest thing, the quest yeah. moves. Over on the right. I'm getting there. On the right quest. That would be left. Go quest. right. Hey, Swear and I iron vow. So <clears throat> and I am going to use um, Aiden Ally. Going to plus Let's foul. Um, this foul will be finding more. Precursor artifacts. And we're going to say that it's formidable. Actually, no, I think this one's just dangerous. I don't think, because the stuff's around. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to, I'm going to aid an ally by, um, securing an advantage. And I'm going to provide probably um, either there we go. expertise or <laughs> it already? no. Okay, good. Or resolve. Let's, I'm gonna probably. I'll, I, cl I'll I clicked the provide. button and then it started filling in the progress track and yeah, it that was not what I wanted it to do and I don't know why. No, it's you have to click the the roller run swerver iron bow. Yeah. No, no, that one. Don't click that. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm gonna give you an asset. Okay. Just give me a second. Uh, security. Thank you. 
there you are. Okay. So I'm going to roll plus heart. Okay. Strong hit with a match. So um, we're going to take two momentum. Okay. So we're now plus four. And um, plus one on your next move. But it's not my move because I'm adding another. It's plus one on yours. So you get a plus one add. Okay. Your momentum is over on the left-hand side. Yep. There you go. And then you're going to do... Um, return on outcome. Yeah. So yeah, you're just going to do high. Click that. And that's a weak hit. So you're determined, but you're going to begin your quest with more questions and answers. Take another plus one momentum and envision what you do to find a path forward. Okay. All right. So let's talk about what we do to find a path forward. I think since we're going to Hearth anyway, and since we've got a contact, maybe we hit up our buddy that wants to jump my bones or whatever. I didn't say he wanted to jump your bones. I just said he <laughs> thinks you're cute. He could be that... Oh, you're so adorable, kind of cute. We hit him up for. Maybe um, we also like see if there's like any base uh, rumors. Yeah, or if there's like any maps. Okay. Like treasure maps. I mean, like junk dealer at the place. If they've yeah. got you know maps to somewhere that they've never been that they would sell or something. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to imagine that this is probably a week's journey to Hearth. I don't know. Okay. We probably need to figure out how to travel. But anyway. Um, we fly. No. Really? <laughs> I don't I don't think flight actually let's see cataclysm communities iron vows laws religion magic communication data medicine artificial precursors horrors there's a set of course yep I think weren't we talking about having like um FTL being discovered? I believe so. Cause at this point we kinda have to, otherwise we'd be like, you know, spending all of our time in travel. Or maybe jump gates. Like no. that one movie. I, I like FTL. Okay. So let's find Mr. Zulu. We're we're gonna follow along the um, <coughs> the path okay. that we've got there and uh, where it connects up and then jump out of the hearth. So let's do a set of cores and uh, we're gonna roll plus supply. So that'll be me. Yep. And set course, set course, set course. Here we go. And we're going to do. Okay, so adds. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to take five. So I can visit the ladies. Okay. I don't think there's ads, but uh, roll it anyway. That's a strong hit. 
Awesome. So yeah, that's that's kind of how this works. Um, so this is going to give us. We we've, we've decided that we're going to go out to this this deep space station or whatever. There's a known course, so we're going to set a course, and it rolls a move, and um, so it rolls two d10, and we've got. A D6 roll plus our support, which is five right now, which gives us nine. Nine beats both eight and six, so it's a strong hit. And the move for um, set of course says that a strong hit means you reach your destination and the situation there fav favors you. Take plus one momentum. So we're going to add another momentum. Okay. And Let me grab my. <clears throat> Excellent. So what it doesn't do, okay, is it doesn't tell you what the situation there is. It just says it's favorable. All right. Why so don't we, we grab up... why don't we grab an oracle card? Okay. What uh oracle are you thinking? Well, That's a good question. I'm looking. What if it's a story clue? Okay. See, we've got locations, but we already know where we're going. So since we're, the reason why I suggest the story clue is because we're on our way there. Uh-huh. What if there's a festival? A festival on a remote. It's an excuse for people to get publicly in touch. Do you honestly think that they would care? <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying. <coughs> Maybe they found something fantastic and... Or maybe they got a bonus. Say that her tiny. I'm just spit all on ideas. It's fine. There he is. There we go. Earth. Okay, it's an asteroid. It's got a population of hundreds. It's industrial architecture. Authority is oppressive. Ooh, what if the authority has been overthrown? A bounty hunter has come into play. Okay. That means that the situation would be more favorable to us. Because it's not oppressive anymore. Because it wouldn't be oppressive anymore. So what is it? I don't know. Oppressive. What's, what's not oppressive? Uh, neutral? I don't know. In, in flux? Probably in flux. That means we could probably make extra money. Okay. In flux. Ooh, you know, what if, what if there's somebody there that, like, has the map that we want? But, um... What if they're dead? Or what if they don't want to give it to us unless we help them increase their authority in the, the vacuum? Yeah, but what are we going to do? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying this to be mad, but bad, mean or anything, but what are, what are we... I mean, if we were bigger, 
I could totally be down for that. But we, or let me rephrase it. If we had more influence, we're both cast out. That's fair. What if we need to steal the map? Or what if we need to steal something for this dude? That's what I mean. It, like, like a trade, right? Okay. We don't buy it outright. They have something that they want, whatever it is. And they're not going to give us the map until we come up with whatever it is they want. All right. So what do they want? Do we want to go? Ooh, what if? All right, so it started off as oppressive. What if they've shifted to like elective representative? Oops. And he wants to be elected. Okay. That's kind of what I was suggesting earlier. But, okay. So we need to give him aid. Yeah. I'm figuring out the... the Oracles. Ah. Yeah, there's a really lot of them. Well, between class and everything else, is it's been really hard for me to have time to sit down to read stuff. What if... His enemy has a data chip that shows our dude in poor light. Okay. So he wants us to relieve the other due to the data chip, and then he'll trade us the map for it. I'm good with that. Yeah. All right. I like that. So that's what we'll do. So we go. Um, we have a strong hit. So we're we're there, and the regime has changed. So we come in and we land on this an asteroid. Um, there we go. The asteroid is. Now under tolerant authority? Is that what it's called? I guess. Settlements authority. Is there not like a separate... What are you looking I'm for? looking for the oracle. It was on your... So it's on my moose? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Alright. So we've got a tolerant authority now. Okay, so it's not in flux. I'm not seeing an influx as an authority. Oppressive, corrupt, unyielding, fair, tolerant, ineffectual, or none slash lawless. Well, that, okay, that doesn't necessarily mean. So that maybe that's it's all there influx is. from oppressive to tolerant. To some, yeah, to something else. Okay. So it's influx. He wants to be elected leader. And if he's elected leader and we helped him, it'd be tolerant. Excellent. Okay, so that, that's the plan. Now we're both on the same page. Don't giggle at me. I thought I was the only one that had the book. You know what? 
I know where you sleep. You do. In bed next to me. I know where you're ticklish. I know where you're ticklish. So, nah. Nah. <laughs> All right. So, I'm thinking my character it is not exactly going to be able to easily move around this this place because of the way they look. Because clothes, they're they're mismatched and whatnot. So it's going to be on <laughs> your character to steal the data. <laughs> You're hilarious. I thought so. Mismatched, comfortable clothing. Looks like a hobo. He's as subtle as a brick. So we both look like hobos. All right. I, I sense this is a case of there are no witnesses if nobody's conscious to see you there. That's right. All right. So we come in. There's this massive <laughs> wait, wait. Asteroid. No, no, no. I don't want to get into a big. My character is not going to be inclined to get into a big, big massive fight if there's a bounty hunter running around. We haven't even landed yet. Wait, I thought we landed. No. Okay, we're on our way. I thought we had already landed and prepping to meet the dude. Okay, we had rolled the set of course. It was a strong hit. said the situation there favors you. We were trying to figure out what the heck the situation was. What if there's debris when we get there that has stuff that I can see? There's what? Like, maybe somebody else's ship broke and they've abandoned it and I can loot their shit. I mean, we can. That would be a favorable situation for us. Is that on top of the oppressive thing shifting? Yeah. So maybe the bounty two things. Maybe no, maybe the bounty hunter is what's shifting the whole oppressive tolerant thing while we're there. And because it's in flux, we're able to scavenge the other ship because nobody's paying attention. Okay. Because that makes more sense than us trying to steal something or beat people up because neither one of us can beat people. No. So the, I, maybe the favorable situation is the fact that everybody's busy with business over here doing whatever, and, oh, there's a broken ship. I have two screwdrivers. Okay. I have a pair of leverage optimizers, and I dismantle the ship and shove everything that the ship was in the hold. Okay. I like this idea. So we... Go in. Okay. We are landing. I think that the docking bay where our ship is is going to be kind of small. Fair. This is very much like a hacked together settlement. Well, you know that that, that one, which, which movie was it? It was like this one. Maybe it was Firefly where they had the, the fingers out and you docked at a finger mm. we're but not you know going to look for it right now yeah you know what I'm talking about right yeah I might have to look it up later cause, but like you you dock and then there's like a gap area that you've got to go down and mm. that that's and then the whole the whole thing is rotating to keep the, the gravity moving so I think it was the one with the blue sun with the, the, the when they stole all the bars. The food. Oh. When they broke in um, and ran the machine yeah. and got a whole bunch of the bars that didn't have the Alliance stamp on them and then yep. they sold them. And Mal almost got shot again. Again. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to land. Yep. The whole place is in flux. Like chaos. 
The Dark Master greets you. Hi, cutie. Oh, you are so adorable. I want to pet you and keep you and go, you charge. Um. Bye. And he just <laughs> looks at him like, I don't even know what to do with you. <laughs> and then my character's come, gonna come out and wave. Joda! I thought you were dead! This guy saved me. Excellent! So, here's your docking space. I got stuff to do. And he's gonna go. Okay. So, we saw the wreck on the way in? Yeah. I- I'm thinking the... The, we saw the wreck, and the reason why we know it's a wreck because there's like a massive hole on one side that's got basically space um, plastic wrap. <laughs> you know how when you break a window, the the trash bag and the whatnot over it, it's got that going on. Quick, get the plastic bags and the duct tape. <laughs> Hey, look. When the space program started, they had the equivalent of aluminum foil. <laughs> yeah. It, it makes sense to me. Just like, but, you know, we can talk about the space program because I don't understand why people are all like, oh my God, they spent this much money making a. Uh, gravity-free pen and Russia used a pencil. Well, guess what happens when graphite from what pencils are used to made of get in the oxygen area? Can you say kaboom? I can say kaboom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now it's not so bad because pencils aren't pencils aren't really made with graphite anymore unless you buy graphite-specific pencils. So we're gonna go. I figure we're gonna wander around the ship and see what, or around the little space station. We're gonna make our trade, and we're gonna see what's going on, and we're gonna hear the rumors about the broken spaceship. And then I'm gonna look at you and go, "I want to loot it." Okay. Um, do we want to talk about the trade or? No, because I figure it's the standard. Anybody that's seen Star Wars, I'm going to put this on the thing, and then you're going to give me stuff for it. I, I guess what I'm getting at is there's, okay, you go to the market and you trade, or you go to the market and you see Watto, and you trade. Nah. You see what I mean? I, I'm thinking it's more of the market and trade. Okay, so we're not like, Making contact. No. I okay. Think, I, I, I think it's... I think... I think that because the way Hearth is set up and the way it's been oppressive for so long, that things are very standardized. Okay. There's not... Like, if we went to a place that wasn't standardized, then there'd be more of the making contacts and trades. But I think it's very much like, for example, World of Warcraft. No matter what merchant you go to, you're going to pay the same price and get paid the same price. Okay. That, that's what it's like on this planet. It's, so we go dump all the crap. Yep. Um, Including get, the skin. And then I buy an actual backpack. Okay. Because backpack. Num 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 delicioso. Maybe um, as a, a nice gesture, um, what I'll do is try and find kind of like a, a pelican case, you know, the hard outer okay. shell that will fit your survey bot and pick it up for whatever it costs and then give it to you. Aww. Now, and this is everybody in it. Close it up and hug it. So that way it doesn't break. Yes. And then I'd have to fix it. And that would be sad. All right. So. Now, let's go investigate the broken ship.
Okay. So we get back in our ship mm -hmm. and we head out. Um, no, I think the broken ship is actually attached to the dock. Like, oh, they yeah. managed to limp it in, and it's off the docks. And nobody's looked at it. And nobody's looked at it. I think there's, like, a massive hole on the side. This is not a repair. This is a a semi-hit. It's it's basically a semi-hit of Toyota Corolla. But there's no repairing that. There's only replacing it. Okay. And you can give me some else. I can. Yes. Peace. We like some. Or maybe it is like hanging sadly in the atmosphere, and the the crew managed to get it close enough, but then they had to use a shuttle to get the rest of the way in. See, I think if it was Doc. There'd be no reason somebody wouldn't have gone in there. True. All right, so it's hanging back. So we get But it's the ship. small. It's not a big ship. Yeah. It's a little ship. Yeah, I don't think it's a big ship. Maybe a single person. Mm-hmm. So we go take a look at it. Um, let's see here. Let's look at... at that I gather information, maybe? Um. Are we going to call that danger? I think it's danger. Okay. I mean, because we're going to be dealing with being out in space. Out in space. So let's let's call that a what if it's a hunter? Move. What if it's a hunter ship? A, a stealthy ship? attack ship. Okay. And it's there. Why? Because it got into a into a fight with something that was bigger than it, and that barely managed to limp into this area. Maybe it was attacked by bandits. Or maybe it is a bandit ship. That would add an extra element of danger with booby traps. Okay. So let's do let's do a face danger scene. Um, okay. Move. How do um, I do that? Scroll down. Scene moves. Scene challenges or whatever. Okay, face so danger. Face danger. Mm -hmm. So we're going to roll. Um, and it says, so if we act with speed, mobility, or agility, roll edge. Resolve mm -hmm. command or sociability, roll heart. Strength, endurance, or aggression, roll iron. Deception, stealth, or trickery, roll shadow. And expertise, focus, or observation, roll wits. So with you being the scavenger, Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that you're taking point yep. or whatever. So how how do you imagine um, Judah is going to take an approach? Uh, I'm going zero G to grab stuff from a derelict ship. I think the first thing that she'd, she'd do is... Oh. Go at it from like a, an observation or focus standpoint, where they're where they have you circle the ship to inspect <coughs> it to make sure somebody else isn't already here. Okay, so if you're talking like while wow, we're still on ship, yeah. Okay, so I'll make a face danger roll with wits. Yep, and then when you go zero g. Uh, edge, speed, or mobility? Probably speed. Okay. Uh, so. Or agility. I'll probably slip in. I'll probably go in through the, the hole 
That's in the side of the ship. Okay. So we'll... With a leverage optimizer. We'll go <laughs> and circle the ship mm -hmm. and look for whatever. So that's roll plus wits. And that's a miss. So... Um, let's see here. You fail or a momentary success is undermined by a dramatic turn of events. I'm going to suggest that this is probably a fail. Okay. Um, and this is probably because my ship is old and has shitty sensors. Okay. So there's something it missed. What it is, we'll determine later. Yeah. What so is the then you're going to face danger. Um, oh, I'm filling clock segment to pay the price. I don't know what clock segment we're supposed to be filling in right. because we're not in battle. We're not. So I'm going to, I'm ignoring the clock segment for a second. Okay. So we're going to pay the price. Um, Make the most obvious negative out. Yeah, okay, so that's that's fine. Um, we'll just we'll call that the sensors don't detect something that's dangerous on that ship. That works. Okay. Okay, so then you're going to face danger, but you're going to face danger plus an edge. Yeah. So I'm going to roll edge. Yep. All right. What have we got? Okay, and that's a weak hit. Okay. So you're successful and mark progress, but also encounter complication or setback. Okay. Maybe as I'm like swinging my way in, I get in, but I get halted before I can get far too far in because I'm still tethered to your ship. Okay. Because I'm not really picturing the whole jetpack stuff. So I'm still tethered to your ship, so maybe you have to now bring your sh the ship closer. Okay. Um, or I have to unhook myself, and that would be the setback, is that it's not, you know, a quick thing to unhook. I don't think there's going to be anything human on this ship. No, I'm thinking more... Um, like thick, slow burning gas tank, right? The car, yeah. So something nicked something, and gas is leaking down the inside okay. of the frame or whatever. But no gas, yeah. Right? So yet. whatever, but, a but bad something spark. slow like that. But one spark, and it's all over the crime. Alright, I can get behind that. Alright, so we're in. We're working. You wanna do? Um, no, I'm good. Last year. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I think I'm you good. untether yourself. Yep. Um, I think you move your ship a little closer. Try to keep watch. Okay. Because we are... I'm gonna, We're I'm gonna not say that's, legal salvagers. I'm going to say that's probably ship. not super dangerous. No. So I untether, you pull the rope back in, and I start looking for loot. And I move in so that you can get back. Question is, how much bigger is your ship to its ship? It. Like, I'm what guessing are the chances probably... Of me being 2x maybe 3x tops how hard do you think it'd be for me to get be for us to be able to get it in the cargo hold? impossible okay entrance size but if i dismantle enough of it how long do you want to stay out here <laughs> okay i'm gonna go for the good stuff i'm gonna hit the computers i'm gonna hit the fuel I'm going to hit 
Um, any maintenance areas? I'm going to start at the bridge and work my way back. Works for me. Uh, bridge, main, fuel's going to be last because we just filled up. So I'm going to focus on bridge, maintenance, and, and okay. since I'm going to be in there, I'm going to be facing danger again. Because I am on this ship, there's going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm probably magnetized. My boots magnetized. Um, but there's going to be shit floating around. And I'm in a space suit, so I have to be careful because I could rip my suit or something could hit and crack my screen. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and throw a clock on there. Okay. And I'm going to give it four segments. Okay. Um, I think that there is uh, something wrong. And I think that, um, you know, a weak hit on any of your moves is going to give one tick. Okay. And a strong... Well, no, weak hits don't give uh, ticks. Only fails. Okay. So when I fail, we get it fills in a segment. Okay. All right, so I am going to be using my expertise on this because I'm not going to be running around on this on a dark ass ship with my little bitty flashlight. Okay. All right. I don't think I have any. Ad Actually, no. I have. I do have an ad. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pop out my survey bot and put him on my shoulder and have him scan the rooms as I'm walking. I think that will give me an advantage. I'm okay with it's that. not because it's a survey bot. It it sends out signals or whatever. It's not me. I'm all right with that. Done the scan. All right. So I think that gives me an advantage. One advantage. One. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So what do you got? I I got a miss because okay. I rolled a nat one. All right. So we've got a tick on the clock. Yeah. Um. So there is you're you're looking around. You don't see anything um, immediately obvious. There is probably you're probably not the first person that's been on this ship. That makes sense. Okay. So I was thinking more along lines to roll a nat one for that. What if? There's something else on the ship with me, like a bot. Like a combat bot. We could do that. Like, I see it scuttling past out of the corner of my eye, and it scares the shit out of me. Does it attack you? Not yet. Okay. But I think that the, the fact that it's existing will be a... scary idea. So my character will probably want to move a little faster. Okay. I don't... What is this burn momentum? Do I need to burn momentum? What does it say? You fail or a momentary success is undetermined, undermined by a dramatic turn of events. Fill a clock segment and pay the price. And then underneath oh. this is burn momentum we hit. So you've got a five and a six, right? Yep. You have six momentum. Yeah. So you can burn six momentum and turn that five into a hit. Okay. So I could turn it into a weak hit and not pay it. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Okay. Because that still leaves me at a plus two. So, so, yeah, you see what it did? It added enough to yeah. get to five. Yeah. All right. So. So what does it say now? 
It just says momentum burn we hit. You are successful in marked progress, but also encounter complication or setback. Envision what occurs and fill the clock se segment. You already clear you so you gotta fill the clock you fill the clock segment back in. Uh because I did encounter complication. I, I think that there's a combat bot lurking around. Okay. I think I see it out of the corner of my eye and it scares the shit out of me, and that's what causes me to not really see anything I need to grab. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep moving forward. Um because we need stuff. Yep. So I'm gonna face danger again with a roll. Um, this time I think I'm gonna use agility because I'm gonna wanna to get out of whatever area the thing that I saw is. Okay. Cause space ghosts. So here we go. I got a weak hit. Okay. All right. I managed to get inside the bridge. The door gets shut behind me. That's the complication. I'm going to have to open the door to get back out. There's computer parts in here. Okay. But it looks like somebody came in and ripped it out. So what I'm going to find is small pieces. Mm-hmm. Which is fine because one of the I think one of the small pieces I find is a data chip with a map on it. Is the data chip with what? A map on it. Okay. Like where, where this ship has been. So like the equivalent of a ship's rudder. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, basically, the ship's log. Yeah. I'm good with that. That'd be something cool to. Figure out. Okay, so I stuff stuff in my backpack. Okay. Do you have to take a clock hit on that? No. No. Um, and then so I'll use my leverage optimizer and take apart the captain's chair. Okay. I think I find stuff in the captain's chair. What do you find in the captain's chair? I don't know. Let's go ask an oracle. The reason why is because there's typically hidey holes in the captain's chair. Like, if they get boarded, there's places for the captain to hide stuff in his chair. Okay. So where would I find it? Characters? Nope. Starships, vaults, misc, story clip. How about that? Ooh, what if there's a a data chip with stories on it of different precursor artifacts that we've got to translate and figure out? Sure. Like that. And it involves a person or faction from your background. Maybe the the scavengers wrote it. I don't know. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep moving. I don't think I have any more danger at the moment. I think that I'm going to head out though. And start, because I'm, I'm thinking my backpack's got some stuff in it, so I'm going to start heading out and start moving towards uh, the exit. And I'll, I'll just be, at this point, if I see something floating or is something on the ground that I can grab, I'm going to grab it and shove it in my backpack. It doesn't matter what it is, it's just... Okay. Because I'm a hoarder. So... Face danger, and I think that if I miss on this one, the, the combat bot shows up. Okay. You're on Oracle's, huh? Oracle. Moves. Moves. That's what I need. All right, we're going to face danger. Um, I don't think this got up for tease. Nope. I, I think this is still... 
Oh. Edge. Edge. Aha! Uh, okay. Mana Week hit. The, the clock is advanced. I think the, the bot's near me. But it's like on the fritz. Yeah. Like it, it's... Like it knows it's supposed to be attacking me, but it can't because it's broken. Or it's... Like it's missing its arms. Or its sensors are all goofed up. Like yeah. it's sight, right? So it goes running, and it's going to attack me, and then it slams in the wall past it. So yeah. I think I want to smack the ever-loving shit out of that combat bot. Okay. So, so then you're going to do a... As it runs by me. Uh, strike? Yeah. You need to enter the fray. Enter the fray. Where is that? It's in combat. Session, adventure, quest, connection, export, combat. Yeah. Let's enter the fray. I'm going to enter the fray. Um, so you're going to envision your objective. We're going to kill some kind of, of bot or something. Yeah, I think I'm in the here. thick of it. Infected bot. Yes. I like that. In, uh, yeah. We're in the thick of. I'm gonna be in the. I'm in the thick of it already because we're in close quarters. So I am going to roll an iron, but I think I think that I should get an advantage because you said that the uh, vision was on the. Yeah, I think so. So I th think I get an advantage against it, and I'm gonna try and smack it with a hammer. I am not in a good spot. I, okay. The fight begins with you so, in a bad spot. It it went past you, and you, um, you kind of dodged it out of the way. But you know, zero g, it sends you kind of spinning because you screwed up your center of gravity. Yeah. All right. So let. Me Means it's up. Is it up? No, it's um Oh yeah, it's all oh, it's only me. Yeah, it's only So what would it be? I need to maybe it's react under fire? Yeah. Yeah. That I'm sounds right. I'm going to react under fire because I'm in a bad spot and I'm trying to avoid him. So I'm going to try to dodge. So I'm going to roll an edge. Make a suffer move minus one. What is that? Okay, so there's a move called yep. suffer. Where is uh, that at? It's just below the combat moves. So you're going to lose momentum. You're going to endure. You're going to endure stress. You're not going to endure stress. This isn't psychological. This is just... So withstand damage? Uh, nope, that's a vehicle. So you're going to... You're going to probably endure harm. Okay. Or maybe lose momentum. Oh, let's... I'm going to do a minus one momentum. Because it's a, it's a weak hit, and it's only a minus one on the same move, so. Okay. All right. I am going... All right, I'm going to clash because I'm still in a bad move. 
Uh, I'm going to use iron because I've only got my hammer. Ouch. I'm getting my ass kicked. Maybe we need to get out of there. Can I flee? I would like to flee. Face to feet? Yeah. Clear. Yeah. I I run away. Because I'm not able to get anywhere with the dice. Okay. I'll try and roll Clash again. See what happens. Yeah, I'm just getting weak hits. So. Okay. <coughs> so what's... What's the pay the price? Mm. Mm. Okay, so you took face defeat. Yep. Go back to combat, face defeat, pay the price. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. There's three options there. Make the most obvious negative outcome happen. Ask the oracle or roll on the table below. Yep. Which do you want to do? Let's roll on the table below. Okay, so you're going to need to roll a d100. Actually, how about the ship blows up, flinging me into the space? Okay. So it... That's... uh. Wasting resources. The combat bot, when it flew by you, found the leaky gas can or whatever, yep. right? And sparked it. Yep. Okay. Um, I have escaped with my life, but the ship that I was trying to loot is blown up. So it exploded and you didn't take any damage my sh- my suit's fucked that that's what i'm talking about i waste it. you waste resources i have to replace my suit before i can go back back out in space okay so we're assuming that i caught you somehow yes cuz i'm that good with the ship no cuz the autopilot's that good with the ship Maybe I face plant okay. the cargo okay. hold. Okay. Get- <laughs> it's ten o'clock. The, We're supposed to the, be telling a story. The autopilot of the ship catches you and closes the the gate, and it says, "I am a leaf on the wind. Watch how I soar." <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Anyway, all right, yeah, sure. I get we escape. The ship's blown up. I have a few of the resources that I managed to scavenge. But we need to get you a new VA suit. EVA suit. Yes. (coughs) So I'm going to assume we're going to go back and dock. No, we're going to leave because we just set off a big fiery explosion in space beside the dock. I don't think we. Okay. Do <coughs> right. All right. Do we have gas, or do I have to take? No, you got. You filled up. We docked first and did the trade and the fill up. Okay. So we're going. We're going where? Wherever we figure out where we're going to go next time, because it's ten o'clock. All right. So. We'll start looking at the data chips. Yes. Next time. Yes. 
And yeah, so, so yeah. that was our first thing of Star Force. What do you think? I think we'll get better. I, th- I think we're going to need to work on the whole swapping, exchanging thing. Co op gaming is cool. It's. Um, it's taking a lot more thought process than I thought it would because I'm used to people to play off. So we should probably see if we can find somebody else who wants to play Star Forge to play with us. That way it'd be three of us instead of just two of us. At some point. At some point. Or after we get or better. Or we figure at this. out a work. Or we figure out the work plan. So yeah. But I do see this as a learning opportunity for us. I do, too. Um, so, yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, we will be back next Saturday night playing... Um, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft again. I will probably randal- randomly ran- ramble then, too. And then next Sunday, we'll be back playing this again. Uh uh, I've got a lot of class next week, so yeah. Um, those of you that don't follow us anywhere else, um, we are uh, not doing Invisible Sun until October. Until October. Um, but if you'd For- like, yep, please follow us uh, anywhere on our link tree: Discord, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. Uh, MeWe, Twitter, TikTok. Just don't expect me to to post often because school is kicking my butt. I've got a lot of programming to do. Um, but you'll but, see the announcements. Yes, you'll see the announcements, which is the important so. part. Um, for those of you that are addicted to Invisible Sun, make sure you check out Manapot Studios. Uh, I believe they're actually on Hayos. They're on hiatus? I think. Well, they have other really fun games for you to watch. So, yeah. Check out Manipod Studios. And from our citadel to yours. Happy gaming. Happy gaming.